today I would like to start some project using a, like an old uh, rasp file. Uh, this is like a, you know metal file. I uh, just to make some couple of drawings before. It's like a, some conception of that uh, you know uh, that's a final shape of the knife. I decide to just uh, you know make like a typical drop point something like a Scandinavian knife. Uh, my first impression there was like uh, using the you know leather here that there, there will be like uh, some disc of the leather with a hole inside to be going through that uh, let's say red tail something like that. So after this drawing I realized there will be maybe much more interesting project to put some like uh, more details here uh, to uh, make a better looking decoration, something like that. So I just decide to use a, like a copper here. There will be two disc of copper and between of the disc of copper, there will be like a homemade micarta I made from the old, my old jeans. Uh, they have a, like a nice bluish color here. And uh, also, uh, yeah, day before I just uh, prepared these parts of the knives. I mean, this uh, leather, uh, they also, it's like a disc of the leather, you know, actually there was like a square, then disc with a small hard heel. And I put them together using the epoxy resin to just glue in together day before, now it's they said solid. I make it two parts of them here. So I think the knife, uh, the spinal knife will be looks like this. Okay, this is like a shape of the file. Yeah, maybe I show again. Uh, of course, I need to remove that handle. And uh, before I start the shaping, uh, make a shape of a, of the file to the final final uh, blade look. I need to put to the fireplace to be metal. Uh, it's a very soft then and easy to just maintain with uh, with the hand tools, even the electric tools. Okay, we have a file here and I decide the blade will be like uh, something like uh, 12, uh, 12 centimeters or uh, 120 millimeters here and a small ricasso here little drop point Uh, then of course I need to just uh, shape the, the right tail here to be going that way that uh, letter and also wood parts. I got a three pieces of the wood square parts. It's like a uh, African black wood or ebony. There will be like a center here. Then I got on this drawing some details about this. This will be wood, some copper, as I mentioned before, uh, homemade micarta, copper again, and the leather here. It's roughly something like that. Yeah.
Hello again. I'm back from uh, outside. Uh, so like you said on the previous videos, I just uh, make a little uh, shaping of the blade also. Uh, just a little sanding of the parts of the handle. So it uh, looks very roughly now. Um, so like I am said, it's it's like a parts of the wood. Some copper, the micarta, also leather parts. So I try to just remove that part so you see the all 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 parts how it looks like so it's still lots to do now i mean i'm going to my workshop now uh, to uh, just a little bit uh, you know make disappear this mark after the machine also after the file to be very smooth and uh, even so it's lots of hand sanding probably maybe one or two hours i think and then i got a plan today to just to make a little little fire and also uh, yeah just my outside oven to just put to the heating process of that blade and then uh, also will be like a sanding and the cleaning process before before I attach all these things to the blade. 